Hey everyone, hope you're all staying safe and doing well. Uh, this month, I want to do a lesson on Sister Rosetta Tharp. Uh, she's been popping up in my YouTube and she's also been popping up in my Facebook. And uh, I have a four CD proper box set I bought years ago and I listened to uh, quite a bit. But uh, I've never really uh, looked at uh, studying some of her lines, uh, not because I didn't want to, but I knew she played in a different tuning, and uh, I'm not necessarily the the biggest fan um, of having lots of guitars at a gig uh, with different tunings if I'm playing with a band. I want to be able to uh, quote the players I love uh, with the instrument that I have on. And so even though if I was really going for more authenticity, I would uh, have a guitar dedicated to Sister Rosetta Tharp. Um, I tried um, reformatting her ideas for standard guitar. Uh, I'm using the 16-bar uh, progression that you've heard quite a bit. And uh, I'll go through that, and I'll talk about some of the ideas. So let me play through once so you guys don't chime off, um, so you can see if uh, you like what you hear. So real quick, I'll go through the chords right here. I put this on an iReal Pro and I'll voice the chords as they come. So we're gonna have a B flat six, B flat seven, E flat or E flat six, minor, two bars of B flat six, to the five. Then B flat six, Seven, four, E flat, E flat seven, one, five, one. And let me go through again. I'll talk about the chord voicings I'm using. So I'm using these upper, this top four string set. So from the one to the one seven, I'm just keeping the same shape. I got my six, and then I'm putting the the, uh, the flat seven in the bass, and then I do put the root for the E flat there, but you can see how the voice goes down. So I have, or I'm sorry, we're gonna have the and then the E minor. my one to the five. Then we have one, two, three, four, one, seven, two, three, four, E flat, E flat seven, then one, five, one. Now let me show you the licks we're going to do. I'm going to play through them first and then I'll break them down for you. So from the top, So, you could tell on the first um, eight bars, or actually on the first twelve, sounds pretty much just like Sister Rosetta Tharp. Now, if I bump that tempo up, where you can feel a little bit more of a bounce, it'll make more sense. Um, use the back pickup, where it has a little uh, uh, more, uh, uh, <laughs> it just sounds more aggressive. And let's see what we got.
Okay, so let's talk about the ideas. The first line is pivoting from the five to six. Now you can play it in the E structure. But when I see, um, I'm, when I see Sister Rosetta playing, I, I hear a, a brighter sound, so. So then it resolves in that third. You can do it here. Now, it walks down to the four chord, so. Now you play it there, or you can play it here. Your choice. Um, and on the four chord, you gotta have this pivot. The, I'm using the C structure, the E flat. Now, I gotta flatten the third to make that a minor. Now here's the cool line that I think I hear in 80% of her songs is we're gonna be walking to the five and we're gonna do that. So we're on the one, back on the one chord here. We got two bars to get into the five. So we have a chromatic walk from the three to the five. So I'm, I'm looking at this shape. From the five, six, major seven to the root. Then I'm gonna take the nine. That's gonna set me up now for my E structured. Now to do the five, I'm gonna roll up, hit the flat third. Now the one thing I haven't figured out is when she rests on a chord, she has this bend that pivots from the six to the uh, flat seven, I believe. And it's really hip and unique. Just haven't figured out how to do that on standard guitar. But there's always more uh, lessons in the future, right? So let's take this out again. Um, so the five. Now I'll do it in there. Now when it goes back, the one. Playing the the three and the five of the B flat here. And I gotta go up a minor third to get that flat seven. Really easy stuff, like when we play blues. So major to dominant. Now, I also will take the same notes and go down to here. And then go to the four. five on there. That's my, my preference or my taste. So we're really looking at the first 16 bars. Let's do it one more time. Now she picks with a lot of upstrokes. That might have something to do with the, the sound, but she is uh, very forceful, right? Um, I work so hard on my downstrokes, I'm not uh, convinced if I have that switch in my head to learn all upstrokes and be able to go back to all downstrokes. So whatever's best for you. Walk root to the seven to now we're gonna be on the four chord. It's gonna be the third of the four. Now we're gonna be on the one walking. So that's the progression that she uses. This stuff will fit over a blues um, if we make the math work. We have two bars of a four chord, right? So you can, you could use that over a blues and I'll make the example. Also, the walk up. I 
That's a two bar phrase. That'll take you from um, the uh, seventh and eighth bar into um, the ninth bar. So let me show you how this works. Let me play it once with the 16 bar phrase again so you hear it. And then I'll uh, put it into a straight blues. It'll sound great in your jump blues playing too. So watch, I'm going to change the iReal Pro to just a regular 12-bar uh, cycle. Still in the key of B-flat. Watch how this works, and I'll keep it pretty slow too. So there we go, 12 bars. Um, didn't have it on the swing I wanted, but let's, uh, that worked out okay. Try it again. And watch. So hopefully that gives you some ideas and uh, you enjoy this. I look forward to seeing all of you uh, next month uh, when I do another lesson. Uh, take care and uh, see you soon.